これから私が天に立つ Ladies and gentlemen, as of the version 14 of Bleach Brave Souls that came out not too long ago this month in preparation for the 7th anniversary, Extreme Co op is worth farming. Because now they have finally added times 5 runs, making it easier to farm out the medals, to clear out the exchange shop, and also net yourself. A great amount of editing brushes. And the crazy thing about Extreme Co op is that it's really easy to do. It's just as easy as Inheritance Zone. You just need a character that fits the criteria. In this case, this month, it's going to be tech boosted. So, what you would want to use is any tech character. Now, if you have the likes of Safui Unahana, Arcbook Ichigo, Nini, You're set because they can nullify、uh, resistances and be able to farm extreme co op like as if it's nothing. And、uh, even then, without them, just about any tech character can work, just as long as you have a team where two characters are melee and two characters are ranged. Or literally, it can be the other way around and just have a character that can nullify resistances. In this case, We have Unahana and Artbook that have Marauder, nullify melee resistances, and has Guard Break. And then we have Nini, that of course nullifies ranged resistance, making her really good for extreme co op despite not being the best character. Like, literally, it's very easy to do. Okay, yeah, I'm not really making a good case because my Unahana is max transcended, so obviously, I'm gonna have a much easier time to clear this out. But honestly, you don't even need to max transcend your character. All you really need is the character to be level 10 SP. Make sure that it's T20 with full stamina, damage boost, and weakened defense. And it's pretty easy. Like, honestly, you're not even gonna have the same level of difficulty as you would in IT, where enemies have the Iron Skin ability. Here, the enemies don't have that. They're just level 170 mobs, and you can just clear out this actual raid, like as if it's nothing. Well, it's not a raid, but like, you guys get the point. <laughs> like, literally. And once you basically get to the end of the map, you just nuke. Obviously, you're gonna need attention tied to nuke. Obviously, if the character is one or five, because,、uh, yeah, that's just about it. But everything else, you're gonna be able to one shot just fine, just that level 10 SP. Like, there you guys go. And you guys wanna see what we get from doing a times five run? Well, we're about to find out. Keep in mind, I also have the Bonanza Pass activated. And this is Thirsty Extreme Co op. So let's see what we're getting out of it. So here's what we got on the first ticket two Ogyukus, two editing brushes, 30 medals.、Uh, two editing brushes here and 36 medals. 29 medals and two editing brushes, 32 medals. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the run is kind of ass, but like you guys get the point. This is gonna be really good for getting editing brushes. And of course, to farm the accessory tickets. The accessory tickets are always going to be really good because it's going to be mainly based on a specific attribute. Because right now it's tech boosted, you're going to be able to farm yourself speed accessories. And if you get a five star accessory, it's guaranteed to be a speed attribute accessory, whether it be a golden c h a p p i p o p l e s Yuki, the 50% SP items, you're guaranteed to get that for speed. And because now, That times five is a thing. They also revamped the metal exchange for the extreme co op. Like, now there's just so much stuff to go ahead and buy that it just makes it worth farming. Like, literally, you literally get small and medium scrolls for every attribute, and that has been increased to a cap of 10. And you get an overall total of 90 small scrolls and a good total of 70 medium scrolls. Per attribute, which is enough to max transcend a character, and of course, most importantly, you get large scrolls. And you guys want to know how many? You literally get 50 large scrolls for each attribute. Literally, this is the perfect way 
to max transcend characters. And you also get five essence scrolls as well. Overall, really, really good. Now there's a bit more of an incentive to do PvP and to at least maintain third seed. So that way you guys will have a much easier time with trying to get the Transcendent Scrolls and also get the Silver Scrolls without having to do Chronicle Quests. Now that being said, unfortunately, you're still gonna need to farm out the small and medium scrolls or when it comes to transcending multiple characters unless you just literally want to go ahead and do the transcendence quests every time it gets reset but like other than that this is great this is fantastic like it's brilliant and you can even get yourself already 10 bbs accessory tickets per attribute which is really good really good yeah extreme co-op is amazing now it's great and i'm happy that we got this at last i think that now there's nothing else that K-Lab really needs to improve upon other than making Arena a lot better because right now there's no motivation to even play it besides getting the orbs by winning a lot and a lot and a lot of matches. And the manners. How do you guys feel about Extreme Co-op getting completely revamped now? Let me know in the comment section below because this is a really great quality of life update that it needed to be done. It really needed to be done. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. There's gonna be more videos on the way, so stay tuned for that lads. This has been your boy the Dash Smasher, and I am officially signing out. Take care lads, peace out.